find dy by dx if x is equal to 2 theta minus sine 2 theta and y is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta, leaving your answer in terms of theta. So we've got x is 2 theta minus sine 2 theta. So if we differentiate that, if differentiate 2 theta, we'll get uh, 2 if we're differentiating with respect to theta. Now, when you differentiate sine, if you remember that if you differentiate sine, you get cos. So it's a good idea to write this down. If you differentiate cos, you get minus sine theta. If you differentiate minus sine theta, you get minus cos theta. And if you differentiate minus cos theta, you get sine theta. So we've got minus sine, so it becomes minus cos. And then because there's a 2 here, it becomes minus 2 cos 2 theta. Now we've got y is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. You differentiate 1, you get nothing. So we've got minus cos 2 theta. So when you differentiate minus cos, you get plus sine. So we're going to have, uh, because the 2, they're going to have 2 sine 2 theta. Now using the chain rule, dy by dx so is, is dy by d theta times d theta by dx. So that's dy by dx will be 2 sine 2x two and then times 1 over this, which will write us over 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. Now there are identities for this and this. Sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. And if you choose the right one for this, this is going to be, sorry, so that becomes 2 times 2 sine theta cos theta. And then for this one, cos 2 theta, be careful because there's three identities for cos 2 theta. The one we want is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. We'll substitute that in. So on the top, we're going to get 4 sine theta cos theta. And on the bottom, we're going to get 2 minus 2 plus, minus times a minus, 4 sine squared theta. This 2 and this 2 will cancel out. The 4s will cancel out. And then one of the, the squared will cancel out with that sine theta. So you're left with cos theta over sine theta. Now cos theta is cos theta over sine theta. So the answer for the differential is cot theta. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to find dy by dx for parametric equations which in, are expressed in terms of an angle theta. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.